Mindu madalu ya nyawa nga pitcha nyago jago jana nyayan ka wanga gulil jago madu walja mito. Land management activities have been completed across more than 1.35 million hectares. These activities include water monitoring, fauna monitoring, feral animal control, burning and weed control. Pretty good that we do this type of works out there for the country, yeah. They just need a bit of work like burning and stuff so they can regrow and stuff, yeah. There's a lot of old spin facts out there need burning. Yeah, just don't want to burn it all, just a few bits and that. Yeah. Patty sort of thing, burn them. Just straight line maybe about uh, 500 metres maybe, good burn maybe. Yeah, just so that they want them little animals there. You can go back there and have good food around there for them when it's regrowing stuff. Yeah, plenty for them. Well, little animals like donuts and mulgaras out there just need those pro type of things for protection from owls and hawks. Over 200 plots have been surveyed and monitored. This has included water surveys, monitoring plots for evidence of threatened fauna species such as bilbies and great desert skinks, and identifying signs of feral animals, such as camel, cats, dingo, wild dogs and foxes. Just get a little job at this big end and pop a pill in there. One tablet is for some one for scat and all that type of stuff and what's been there. Just shake it up and see what the colour is. Yeah. And uh, you can tell how much stuff in there. If it's good to drink or if it's not good to drink. Yeah, yeah we could go back and we do the same thing again. And yeah, and it's like it's improved. Yeah. You just gotta get better and better to drink and stuff. We work here, we went out Sunday well. We put a camera, camera in up with the hole. We put a camera, then we go out to camp in a little clay pan. And some of them girls, they go out and get a camera. We seen the manga coming in and last in the pussycat. So I could do the Tracking and all that. It's good to work with that, tracking. Because with some of them young girls, they're learning good tracking one, cyber tracking and all that. I like doing a, uh, tracking. Um, one of, oh, what is thing called? Cyber tracking, it's all right. Yeah. And Water mon monitoring, yeah, that's all right. I like doing it all, really. It's good fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun out there. I do work, yeah. Burning. Cats. Heaps of cats out there. It's just... You don't see them in the daytime. It's the only time you can see them, I can just not. 
Because they like to travel in the cool. Yeah, there's heaps of camels right there. Maybe get rid of the camels and some of the cats. And they just, camels just stomp all over everything. Cats just taking out little animals. Yeah. There's some of the things we can do. Six traditional owner groups have been fully engaged in the activities. More than 200 traditional owners have been back on country across more than 1,400 days of on-ground work. 80% of trips on country involve both elders and young people, allowing traditional knowledge to be transferred between generations. Sometimes we take the old people out for camping there. We'll go out in the bush, we'll make them strong, keep the coaches strong. They're the ones that are showing us how to do it and all that. Because we listen to them, old people. We take about four or five pellets out with us. They just guide us to where the um, rock holes are. They show us tracks, what to burn, what's not to burn. I think it's real good, yeah, because they tell a lot of stories when they go back to the places they've been from a long time ago and stuff. Yeah. They just tell us stories about the top and places and maybe old trees and all that, like what names. Yeah. It's really good for them. They eat a lot of good food like kangaroos and turkeys. Yeah, they really helpful. And they get real, yeah, glad in, inside them. Yeah. yeah, on the way back, they just say say to us, oh, yeah, glad you fellas come out and that stuff, let us come. Yeah. Make us feel all right too, for being there and helping them. Yeah. It's a good thing. That's well. Track things the animals run. Then the matter which which way which direction to um burn the make the fire to burn the spin effect and how to clean the water holes and all that. So when they grow up, when they have their own kids, they can show their kids and other kids how to do the same thing, look after the country and all that, pass on knowledge. It's good for them to get them away from town and all that. Not that feel happy, happy and sad. About a day and a half. Mangali is a day and a half. You've got to plan things ahead to get out there. Long way to go to work. <laughs> the traditional owners are making assessments of the health of their country and water sources and collecting baseline data. It's our responsibility to look after our country and all the animals that are out there. It shows us too what sort of things we can do to protect them and look after them. Yeah, no, it's good. We know what we're doing. We're showing the, um, the next lot of kids that are growing up, you know, how it, um, important it is to take care of our country and all the things that are in it. Make country good. After the burning, they make flowers come out. Lots of lots of wild flowers and all that. After the burning, make the beautiful country. That's why we bring all the animals back. Animals like one car one. When Gadara, it's got we burned it very last year and it's all back. It's good green. We can all come back. A lot of bush tigers there. And yeah, I decided number 11. Well, 11 yet, all drying. You know, there's too many thick 
spiller fakt, så er jeg den, som er den. When we burned it, the range, other ranger boys all went back about two, three weeks back. And they found all the little animals all come back till them. Will be, man, I'll go. Good thing about these trips, we you can go back and do things again. But in different areas, there's Google there, there's a lot of meat out there. Once you start looking after things, things will start coming back and start looking back at you. I think we'll just go ahead and do some more burning and clean water rolls. Doing more work out there. More ranger boys and girls. Working with the traditional owners on country is vital to further understanding traditional activities such as burning and hunting and how this knowledge can assist in the management of the land. These rangelands NRM projects have provided an opportunity for traditional owners to transfer knowledge and encourage the young to learn about traditional practices to help threatened animals survive and keep country healthy for future generations.